What is up everybody? My name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival on Pertam. This is episode number 54 and I'm sitting up here in our fortress overlooking the sunrise over there off on the horizon. Uh, and last episode I asked you guys for some suggestions on what large uh, project we should work on because I've been feeling some sort of large project uh, that we should start on. Um, and I got a lot of responses which I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to choose one. Well, I've already chosen one. <laughs> I'll let you know what it is. Uh, but I've made a hard decision. Um, well, it's not really a hard decision when you actually look at it but what I'm gonna do is this series has been going on for a long time uh, what I'm gonna do is this is gonna be the final large project of the series once we're done with this large project we are going to end this series the space engineer technically this is space engineers survival 2021 that's when it started so it's been going on for like two two years three years it's, it's been going on for a long time it's about time we start something new so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start on our large project, which I'll announce in just a moment here. Uh, and uh, then we're gonna have about three episodes to complete it. And once those three episodes are up, this series will be no more. Well, it'll still exist on YouTube. You can always rewatch it. Uh, I know I probably will at some point because it's fun to go back and look at old videos, but um, what large project are we doing? Uh, I got a lot of really cool suggestions, but I think the one that makes the most sense is building a large grid ship. Now I've only built one major large grid ship before. Well, I've built a couple, but only one like big one. And that was Big Red way back in season one of our survival um, attempt. <laughs> but season one, that, that was that was like back in 2018 or something. It was it was a crazy long time ago. Uh, so I haven't built a large grid ship in a long time. This is going to be a challenge for me. Um, I always have a little bit of, uh, I guess, writer's block or whatever. Whenever I try to build a large grid ship, we're going to get past it this time. I'm going to build a large grid ship. It's going to be really cool. And I think I'm going to try to make it sort of like a drone carrier. Someone mentioned uh, that and it just seems really cool to have some sort of like aircraft carrier sort of thing that can go to space and carry a bunch of drones. So that's going to be the, the idea for this thing. Um, other ideas I got were a large battle rover, which is cool, but would be very similar to the mobile survival series, which just ended uh, where we built a large grid ship. And then uh, uh, I had flying base, which is kind of similar to what I'm going for with a mobile uh, or with a uh, with a flying drone carrier sort of thing. Uh, I got a space station idea, um, big transport ships, big mining ships, uh, stuff like that. Really good suggestions from everyone, but we're going to go with a large drone carrier. So we're going to start on that in this episode. This is episode one of the three episode saga to complete this. And if we get to three episodes and I'm not even close to done, maybe I'll extend it to like five or something. But uh, most likely we're going to, it's going to go like this. Episode one is going to be the uh, initial design episode. That's this one. Episode two is going to be the episode where I look at the comments and you guys tell me all the stuff that uh, could be a hundred times better. And I put that into action. And then episode three will be the finalized episode and we'll, we'll blast off with it into space um and and that'll be that uh and you know what maybe maybe the the next uh survival series we'll do which will come after we'll start with this ship um possibly crashed who knows but anyway let's get started on this i don't really even know how to start but i guess the best way to start a big project is to just start so we're going to do that i'm gonna grab a couple of steel plates here why am i stuck let's uh, actually refill my stuff before before I run out, we'll grab a couple steel plates and we'll get to work. Um, please give me some steel plates. How many do we have, by the way? 15k, okay, so that's that's a, you know, that's, that's a pretty good amount. Um, let's go down here to our new... Uh, what, what, what do we call this? Our new O2H2 room. We're going to hop in here. And we're going to toss these guys in there just to fill them all up. Take them right back out. And we're good to go. Okay, um... It would kind of make sense to build this on top of the hangar, I think, because it's a large flat area. Well, it's not really flat, is it? Hmm. Alternately, we could flatten out our base up here and then just build it on top of the base. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We could remove that guy. Oh, by the way, one little twist. Uh, I've, I've, I've expanded Reavers a little bit, so they're probably going to attack us the entire way through. Um, that's going to be fun. <laughs> they are now about two times more deadly, and we have combat phases about three times as often, I think. So, yeah, uh, I think that's going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and remove... Well, I'm not going to remove him. I have stuff in my inventory. But let's let's uh, let's uh, grab this block here. And we're going to place a bunch of small grid blocks on here to fill out this area into a flat area. And this shouldn't take that much... Or that many steel plates, considering they're all small... Uh, small grid. Sm not small grid. What? Small uh, light, light armor. 
Okay, we've got our little platform here where we're gonna construct our large grid ship. It's gonna probably be bigger than this, but this is a good start. It might extend on that way and maybe even off this way a little bit, um, but I think it'll be a little bit protected here, uh, at least by our, our little weapons that we have. And we have our assault cannon here as well, our new and improved assault cannon. Any river that attacks us is gonna have to contend with our fortress up there. It's gonna have to contend with our little, our, our little um, exterior defense sites like that one over there and that one over there and it's going to have to contend with the base weapons so it's going to be very difficult for anything to to attack us probably i hope um, and then we'll probably throw some weapons on the actual ship itself uh early so that it can defend itself um okay so let's grab the welder which is here and let's get all those blocks welded up before we start on anything okay i'm not too worried about these light armor blocks being hard to weld up, but we are out of iron. So we're gonna have to go on a bit of an iron expedition in just a moment once we uh, once we get this stuff welded up because this ship is going to require a lot of iron. Uh, I, I don't know how much heavy armor I'm gonna use. Maybe a, a little bit of heavy armor in some key areas, but it's mostly gonna be light armor most likely. There we go! We are now welded. We now have a nice flat surface to work with that we can start our ship on. Uh, let's land this guy and we'll we'll get started. I'm gonna land it- I was about to land it up there, but I think I'm gonna land it underneath the, uh, the hangar where it usually goes because I don't want anything to attack and get this thing destroyed. We do need it for what's to come. So let's go ahead and land it in the mobile spot right here. Not- not the- not the one all the way down uh, at the bottom. And you know what? Maybe I should go on my mining expedition early. So let's park this up with number eight, recharge on number nine, and let's go and grab our miner, which is down here. Uh, we're gonna go on an iron mining expedition and we're gonna collect as much as we can get because we're gonna need quite a bit for this for this thing. Now this ship we're gonna build is I think gonna have, a, it's gonna have the assembler and refinery and you know, stuff that like you'd normally have on a base that um, that is mobile. Uh, but most of, most of that stuff's gonna be done by the main base. Okay, we have found our iron, and let's get as much as we can carry. 400k, 500k, I don't know, something like that. Because we're gonna need it. Combat phase is now active, oh no! Wait, okay, no, that's Ember. How are we doing, by the way, on, uh, on our iron? 194k? I don't, I don't even get out of bed for less than 300k. Now that is better. That is about uh, 542,000 iron. Much better. Okay, if we can get out of here that is. Which I think we can, we just need to stay level because I don't think our, our forward thrusters can handle- Oh, they kinda can actually, we're fine. Alright, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's head back to base and we have probably enough iron for the entire build. Although every time I say that, we end up needing a lot more, so Maybe I should hold my tongue. Let's head back to base and put this in the base to be refined and then assembled into iron. Got to be a little careful coming around here. This could be busy airspace, depending on if our little battery flyer is flying, which is, is not. It looks like it's chilling over there. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead and land this thing. Oh, we're having a little trouble. There, there we go. If we tap down, we start going down very fast. So we're having a little trouble staying up, but it's... <laughs> Don't take that out of context. It's it's fine though. We'll, we'll survive this probably Okay, there we go All that iron's gonna go into our base and we can start working on the ship So let's get up there and start throwing down some steel plates uh, Because that's really the only way a project gets done is you start tossing around a couple steel plates um, Oh, we now have some shade here. That's kind of cool. I guess uh, Before we do anything actually real quick. I just want to just want to make this look a little nicer maybe with um, Something like this See, this is how it goes. You get a couple steel plates in you and suddenly you start working on projects that don't even need to be completed, but would look cool. All right, there we go. Now it's got a little more character. Okay, now with the steel plates that we definitely still have, do we have some? Yeah, we have 192. We're gonna start building our thing up here and I'm gonna start with, I guess I technically don't need to use a landing thing. I could just go straight with blocks like so if I want to have it connected to the base already, which means I could 
Yeah, that that would actually be perfect. So it'll be already connected to the base. So it's gonna suck some power from our from our base, which is exactly what I want uh, before we have power. So we're gonna find the middle block right here because I want to keep it centered. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are two middle blocks, and it's these two right here. So that's fine. We don't need a, an exact middle block. We'll just use that one right there that we have. And that'll be our connection point for this ship. Now, I'm going to bring it up a little bit, like maybe that high before I start working on it. So we have a little bit of room below. Uh, we'll have two blocks of space below to work with. And this will technically be the bottom of the hull. Um, now, I think I'm going to start with some heavy armor. We're going to have a line. I have no clue what this ship is going to look like, by the way. We're just going to kind of start working and wherever it goes, it will go. I'm going to start with a line of heavy armor, like so, going a distance, like so. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think that's not bad for a large ship. I don't know how big Big Red was. Big Red was probably about this big, but we're probably going to expand this to there. We'll put like an engine room back here. We'll have um, this is going to be a drone carrier, so I want to have um, maybe a centralized hallway with some areas on the side that can carry drones where you can kind of like let them out and stuff. And then we'll have a top deck as well where we can maybe land some drones um, as if like it was an aircraft carrier sort of thing. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what we're going to go for. Okay, I've got a tiny bit of design going on. Uh, I've gone out a little bit on the sides here. You can see how it, we have these five sloped blocks right here followed by two normal blocks and then two normal blocks here and then five more sloped blocks. I think what I'm going to do is these are going to be like little landing pads that uh, that the that the, the drones can use. So, and I'm still using heavy armor. I don't know why. Maybe I should switch to light because we're going to start using quite a few things. But, uh, but it's going to go sort of like this. And then the rest of the ship is basically going to encompass this area, and this is going to be like a smaller area or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of spitballing here. It's it's going to change a lot, most likely. So we're just kind of throwing ideas to it and seeing what sticks. That's that's how um, that's my approach to ship design. My tried and not really true <laughs> approach to ship design. Um, okay, I think I do kind of like this idea though. So I'm I think I might try and weld up this bottom oops this bottom part right here um and this will sort of be like the main uh area we can oh the combat phase center we didn't get a single reaver what really okay well i guess we got lucky the um the peace phase can last just about as long as the combat phase can so uh we'll, we'll probably have another combat phase or two before the episodes uh before the episode ends Oh, right, one more thing. Um, this ship is going to be hydrogen, I think, because this is going to start on this land and it's going to go into space. So we're going to make a hydrogen capable ship. Uh, so for that, I think we're going to probably remove this guy, remove this guy, throw some thrusters in right there. We're going to need a lot of thrusters. Um, I don't know exactly how many, but we're going to need quite a few. So hydrogen, give me some do i want to use the industrial ones i mean they look cooler but they are a little bigger you can see here they're they're longer than the uh than the other one uh but if i were to like for instance let's go up a couple blocks here and place them like that then it would probably look better number six it's by the way it's a lot easier to make a ship like this in creative mode because you can push blocks farther out from uh from where you're looking and stuff like that so it's a lot easier in creative mode but Survival mode is not impossible. I'm going to bring this down like so and do it on this side as well. So I guess, yeah, I will use these industrial ones just because they look um, pretty cool. So I'll put two right there and we'll do the same thing over here with two. Um, and what I could do actually is instead of having this pillar right here, I could expand it. That's an Ember, Ember Monarch. I could expand it one, bring it like this way one, and, uh, and instead put another hydrogen thruster in there. So remove these blocks here, remove that block, hydrogen thruster, bam. So we have two, 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 about in the middle of the ship, and that would give us quite a bit of lift. Oh, and you know what? I actually kind of like this. These are pushed out one block to the to the, um, to the the outside, so it gives it a little bit of variance. It's not like the same thing all the way through. Um, maybe going a little bit closer to the engine room, everything kind of compacts a little bit more. Maybe you've got a little bit more room on the side or something. I don't know. <laughs> we're just we're just doing stuff and seeing what uh, what sticks. So next to these thrusters, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a bit of a 
a pillar like that. Just, just one next to each of these thrusters, because what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some um, important components here, like the O2H2 generators and maybe even the hydrogen um, tanks. I'm going to stick kind of near these, these guys right here. So I'm going to kind of put some heavy armor there so that we can have it a little bit more defended in those areas. Okay, there we go. I think we've got a pretty good start to a ship going here um, with... It's going to be wider than this, by the way. This is just like the center area. It's going to be wider by probably a couple blocks, maybe out to here and out to here. Um, but this is just like the, the core where we've got most of our downward thrust. And it, it does have a lot of downward thrust, but I guess we kind of need that since we're starting on the planet, especially the planet that has a lot more gravity than other planets. But um, but yeah, in fact, I don't even know how this is going to go since we're starting on this planet with, the, with a crazy amount of gravity. Oh, we got a thunderstorm going. That's not good. It's going to probably destroy some of our stuff up there. Yep, it destroyed something. Did it already hit one of these blocks? I think it might have. For my next playthrough, I am definitely going to disable lightning. I think you can disable it in the settings. I'm not sure. But I've been told in the comments that lightning is coded specifically to hit the player and less to hit the blocks. So it's, it's more likely to hit the player if the player's around. That's what I've been told. I don't know if that's true, but if that's true, that's a very out weird way of coding that. Lightning strikes are not that common. Maybe maybe Keen's trying to be uh, be good good lesson givers and say, hey, don't go out during a lightning storm. You might get struck. They're not that common. <laughs> Not very many people get struck by lightning. I guess we'll have to wait out the storm. You know what? Let's go to sleep in here. We have our habitation station for a reason. Let's go to sleep and wait out the storm. We'll close the door behind us. I forgot to close both, but... Alright, good night, everybody. We're gonna sleep off the storm. Good morning, everybody. The sun is just coming up outside right there. It's still a little dark, but... Let's, let's head out of here. The storm has passed, and we can get back to building. There we go. Yeah, it's just... It's just dawn. Over there. there. There comes the sun. Doo, 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 doo. Let's replace the thing that the, the, the storm blew up here. So rudely, what might I add. Not a, not a very friendly storm, that one. But yeah, place that one right there, and we've got our ship back. I think maybe it destroyed one other block, but I don't know. I just think the dawn in this game looks so nice. It's... it's or specifically on Pertam, I think. It's just this yellow, kind of orangey. You can see the sun coming up, but it makes the entire sky look look this this yellow color. It looks so cool. So this is basically going to do something like... We're going to start using light armor here. But it's basically going to do something like this. So it's going to mimic sort of this design right here. This just does it a little bit earlier, and it kind of breaks up the shape, I think, a little bit. So it's going to do something like that, where it's going to come out. Then maybe it'll... I don't know, will it do this? It could do this if I want to kind of curve off the design. Kind of make it like a, a, a boat hole almost. Um, I don't know if I do though. What I might do is go out like this a little more. Would that be a good size for the ship? Three more blocks on this side. Let's Let's do it on this side just to see. What do you guys think of this? So we have it kind of coming out like that. That's our that's our sort of profile. Uh, then we have the hangar right here, which is kind of inset one block, which I think is going to look kind of cool. Uh, maybe we'll do... What do I want to do here? Like that. To hide the hangar door just a little bit. And we'll do the same on the top if we have a second hangar door up there. And then we kind of have this poking out just a little bit, which I think looks cool. Okay, we should have enough stuff to weld up the entire ship thus far, I think. We'll see. We have about 24,000 steel plates, and then we have 8,000 metal grids following our ratio from before that we found out. So we'll start by welding a couple of these guys. Actually, I shouldn't really be welding these. These are the ones I don't really know about if I'm going to keep. So I should be welding these guys right here that I'm kind of confident about. So we'll start with these guys. Okay, we got most of the ship done, or the, the area that we need to be built up so that we can continue building at least. I guess with the with the little bit we have, I can get this bit done as well. So let's get these, starting with this block in here. Okay, now that that's in, I can put all my light armor blocks in here as well. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fill this up. So it's gonna be like double 
two ply. This is two ply armor. It's got a heavy armor layer and then a, a light armor layer as well. Just on the bottom. Okay, there we go. Now it's looking a little bit more like a, like what it's gonna look for the main floor. So this is the you got the hangers right here, the hangar doors, and then you've got the main area where you can store stuff. So uh, this this whole area right here. I might have just behind these. I might throw some like hydrogen tanks, some small hydrogen tanks. I don't know. Maybe stuff like this. Boom, boom, right there. Uh, boom, boom, right there. Sort of like that, kind of filling up the area. And then maybe some O2H2 generators just in the front right here. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this. Cause I don't know if I really have much room for the large hydrogen tanks right here. I might stick some large hydrogen tanks in the back over here. Cause we might make this a little bit wider to be a sort of engine room or something. Um, but I think sticking some small hydrogen tanks here is not a bad look. Uh, and would kind of give us some consistent storage. And then like, you know, if a stray bullet were to come and hit this right here, blow this guy up, uh, then we still have redundancy, which is important. Okay, I've pushed these blocks back just one block here, and I think it makes a big difference with the amount of space that we have here in the uh, in the main area. So I kind of like this a lot better. Now, I do want to have a couple of defenses on this ship. Um, so what we might do is we might take these areas in front, like right here especially, I might make this a little defensible area. So if I take this block right here, I don't want to take a full conveyor junction, but let me grab like, um, I don't know, one of these, I guess. And put it out too, just like that. And I'll do the same on this side right here. If I push this out too as well, then I should be able to put some sort of weapon here. So what, uh, what weapons do we have with us? Now, since I'm probably going to carry this ship over to the next series we do, I'm, I'm not gonna use any modded weapons for this. I'm gonna try to use only vanilla stuff, which isn't much of a problem because the vanilla weapons are pretty cool now. They don't just have Gatling gun and uh, rocket launcher. So let's, let's take a look at our block weapons here and i think i might use not an artillery turret here but maybe an assault cannon turret uh for these sides yeah i think we'll do assault cannon turrets on the side one one on each side would would uh look nice here so assault cannon turrets make sure they're facing the front i don't know if that's facing the front or the back but it's fine there we go. I think that's going to look pretty cool. We're going to have our assault cannon turret right about there. We're, we'll have like a little, I mean, this technically like a little crawl space we could add, but I don't think it's going to fit very well with this here. Unless we have this hangar open anytime we want to access this, but I don't think that really makes much sense. Um, so we're probably not going to do much with that, but we'll add these blocks here on this side as well. To make this look a little nice. Bring it up one like so. And I think we have a good look for the side so right i don't i don't really maybe i'll bring this out one as well i don't know maybe i won't keep this a gun maybe instead i'll make this little thrusters and i'll add a gun somewhere else on the side because i don't really like the profile of it going boop boop it's gonna look like a hexagon um and i don't know that i like that so yeah one thing I'm pretty bad at is guessing how many thrusters this ship is going to need. So I don't know if this is going to be enough for liftoff, but six large hydrogen thrusters is nothing to scoff about. So it's probably going to be fine, but let's work on other thrusters we want. I think, you know what, I, I, this has grown, the opposite of grown on me. What's, what's, what's the opposite of that? It's, it's done the opposite of that. And I don't, I don't really like how we have it set up. So what I think I'm going to do instead is I'm going to keep that one right there. And I'm going to turn this area into a little thruster area, a little hydrogen thruster zone. It's going to have some side thrusters to keep us afloat. Instead of the weapon right here, I've put a little thruster section with a couple of thrusters um, that I think looks kind of cool. And we have a couple of, we have a little space here. Maybe I'll throw a gyro right there. Cause I know this ship's going to require a lot of gyros. So we'll do this little thing right here. Where we have these gyros and stuff right there. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, instead of having this guy, sorry, weapon, you'll have your chance, but not right there. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Little, little thruster section. So we've got thrusters pointing down. We've got thrusters pointing to the side. We could, we have more room to add thrusters pointing to the side in these sections if we want to, but for now it's it's fine. We're gonna need a bunch of thrusters pointing backwards. So we're gonna need an engine room. Um, and I think maybe we'll go into that here. So the engine room is gonna probably just have 
One, two, probably two large thrusters. Pointing backwards. As well as, we probably we might want a reactor in there for power. And we're probably gonna wanna have some larger tanks in there as well. Like that would kind of look good for the um, for the main engine room thrusters. Something like that. They're kind of in the middle of the ship area here. But the ship's probably gonna be larger up top, so maybe we want a third one kind of in the middle. Uh like Something like that would be a nice uh, a nice thruster setup for the for the back there, I think. Um, since the ship is probably going to be about that big, it would actually go kind of nicely. Then maybe we have a, a couple smaller ones back here as well. Uh, I don't know. Something like this would be pretty cool. So at this point, we have the main little cargo. I, I guess I would call this the cargo hold. I don't know. We've got some thrusters set up. This is not the final. How, how big is this, actually? I don't know that this is big enough for. Well, maybe this is fine, actually. Because this would be the, the floor level. Right about there, since we're doing one block extra on top of the, uh, oops, on top of the armor. Um, so if I wanted to have some sort of, like, reactor, so I want power. Power is important. Ooh, the warfare reactors. Uh, how big are the warfare reactors again? Oh, my lord. I mean, we could. We could use this. I'd probably stick it, like, right there. Um, which I guess we could do, since we don't need this block right now. So something like this would actually fit if we had the reactor right there and we had the engines right there. So yeah, that would give us one reactor. And then we could also have on the other side, maybe a, um, I don't know what we would actually, yeah, I don't know what we would have on this other side. Now, I think our next step is probably going to be welding all this up because I think I'm happy with most of what we have here. The the thruster setup, I think I'm happy with this. These are these thrusters themselves might actually move eventually but for now I'm happy with the room I could expand it by a little bit on this side if I want to but I'm pretty pretty happy with what we have so far um, I think the next step we need we would need the cockpit but maybe this will just kind of round up and the cockpit will be up high because this is the bottom deck we're gonna have another deck and maybe even another we'll probably have another deck like in the middle and then we'll probably have a top deck which will be open to the surface and would kind of end up looking a little bit like what we have up here in terms of this kind of surface uh, walkable area. It'll probably end up looking something like that. So, okay. I think we've got a good a good thing going though. I'm out of steel plates. I'm so lost without them. I need to build my ship or it's not gonna be finished. So currently we have no weapons set up, which is fine though. No Reavers have attacked us yet, which I wonder if there's something wrong with the Reaver mod or something, or maybe my configuration is messed up because we definitely have a big enough threat level with all these weapons around. Um, we've got tons of weapons up there as well. Um, we've gotten into a couple combat phases by now, but we haven't have had any Reaver attacks, so I don't know. But, um, but I think the ship is looking pretty nice. We've got the, uh, I added this sort of like little crawl space area right here, like a, a, a secondary access into the, uh, the back here. We can kind of access the, the stuff. And there's another one on the other side over here as well. The main access will be of course the, just the main way right here. Although I guess we could block this off if we want to, cause we do have these two side accesses to get to the, to the end. So we don't necessarily need a third. <laughs> so I don't know what we'd put there, but we could put maybe some more, more, um, O2H2 generators or something, but uh, but so far it's looking pretty nice. What else do I want to add in this episode? I want to leave a lot of it as kind of a blank slate because I really want to use you guys' comments to make it better. Um, I can only make it look so good before uh, before comments can really put the, the nice touches on it. I don't know if you guys remember, a long time ago we built Honk the Tonk right here. Um, this thing looked ridiculous before uh, comments came in and gave me some useful tips on how to make this look a lot better. And as a result, it does look way better, I think. So um, that that's definitely part of the build process in these series is, is getting the comments and, uh, and reading them and listening to them. So yeah, I think, uh, what else do we wanna add? You know what, I think maybe we'll actually end this episode right here with this thing right here so far built. It's not uh, anywhere near completion yet, but I think this is good for an episode one. We have a really good shell here, a really good design, I think, laid out. And uh, so what, what I'm intending to have is this right here, which is our main kind of bottom deck. Then we'll have another deck right here, which will have like more habitation stuff. It'll have uh, maybe some cargo stuff and it'll maybe, maybe house the cockpit as well. And then we'll have a top section finally, which will, uh, it looks like we're gonna start next episode on a combat phase, but the top section will have kind of like a, a deck, which will have, uh, it'll kind of be reminiscent of our fort up there. It'll have 
some connectors, it'll have some weapons, stuff like that. So that's kind of the design I'm going for. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, some suggestions you might have for uh, how we can make this look cooler. Um, I will be reading them, so post them down in the comments section below. If you like this episode and you like where we're going, uh, leave a like. If you disliked it, you can leave a dislike as well. If you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe. If you want to join our Patreon, there's a Patreon link down below in the description. And if you would like to join the Discord server, there's also a Discord link down in the description as well. With that, I will see you all in the next episode of Space Engineers Survival on Pertam.